big kind of uh, incident that really brought everything to the forefront kind of happened uh, in 2013. It's hard to think it was actually that long ago. On June 9th, uh, our emergency department was overrun with uh, Form 1 patients. We have a couple of different areas in the eMERGE, the way it's broken down. And there happened to be 14 Form 1 patients that day with one or two security guards. We were short-staffed. Uh, as it turned out, a doctor went in to uh, assess one of the patients. Um, after that assessment, the patient just literally went off, charged out of the room, started uh, punching basically everyone you could get within distance to, and uh, actually broke one of the bones in the physician's hand. And it's been a terrible ordeal, the shock that everyone went through that was on shift that day and the stories that continue to uh, roll through the department from what happened that day. Uh, it, was, it was crazy. I mean, they still talk about it now like it was yesterday, and I still talk to the one uh, nurse who was hurt uh, the worst, uh, who's still off work, has yet to return, uh, and no uh, imminent return to work date in sight for this um, uh, young nurse. And uh, basically, she tells me all the time, we still talk quite regularly, uh, she was never trained on how to deal with any of this stuff. Uh, she went through all the stages of blaming herself, uh, she still somehow uh, blames herself that I should have known better, I should have, you know, done this or that. And uh, sadly, the employers uh, kind of made that happen with the way they continuously or continuously try to minimize what happened uh, that day. And we've had a number of issues since September 16th of that same year, all the way up until December 8th of last year. Uh, another nurse uh, beaten. We've worked with. Uh, Erna and a number of other groups, PSHSA, and we followed Toronto East General on a lot of um, their processes in place, um, but we just keep finding gaps, and the main gap usually comes down to training. And on December 8th that just passed, we had another nurse, uh, a patient was put into a room without any notice or anything like that. This gentleman tried to elope, and, uh, and just in trying to stop the situation, she was beaten to the ground and, you know, had to crawl under a stretcher to try and get away from this fella. And it was terrible. And again, South Lake did everything they could to minimize it, minimize it about uh, how great the response was. Uh, and again, now, even talking to her, I actually work in Emerge. I'm on leave uh, in this role right now, but I know a lot of these people very well and I talk to them regularly. And uh, as I mentioned the other day at the PCM, she beats herself up more than that person ever did. Uh, she blames herself, I should have known better, I never should have got close. And again, the employers added on to that. And it's, it's absolutely terrible what this person's going through at home. Uh, we're just hoping to one day get them back to work.